Hello, what's up YouTube? Ron Sweet and Troy. And in this tutorial, I want to show you how you can easily get natural and highly realistic skin texture in your images. So if I told you you use frequency passion and maybe you're a beginner out there and you have always struggled on how to achieve the natural skin texture every single time you touch your close-ups or portraits in general, this is a tutorial for you. So for this case, I'm just going to be using a Photoshop action. So if at all you don't have a Photoshop action, you can simply search on Google, just type in frequency separation actions, and you're going to be able to get them for free. Or you can even search on YouTube and check out those videos that have that action in the description and just click on the link and you can download it. So what you have to understand, the very first technique is applying the right frequency separation action to the right image. By this I mean you have to know the right bit depth of the image before you apply your frequency separation action. So usually we have 8-bit images and 16-bit images. So for this case, I have a 16-bit image. And if I told you you're not sure of the bit depth of your image, you can come and simply come right here to image mode and you can see that we have 16 here so you may be having 8 or 16 i rarely see images that have 32 bits or 32 bit channel so mine is a 16 bit image and you can as well find that right here so what i'm going to do i'm just going to come to the action i'm going to play my 16 bit frequency separation action so i'm just going to select it and just come and hit play so the action is going to stop at this point so this is the point that is going to determine the amount of skin texture that you want to remain with in your image at the end of the retouching process. So usually the radius may be all the way down. So what you have to do, look for an area that has more prominent skin textures than the rest of the skin. So for this case, I'm just going to zoom in and you can see this area right on the nose here has more details in the skin. So make sure the preview option is on so that you can see this in real time. So when you get this reference point, so when we start taking the radius up, it is going to imply that you're going to be reducing on the texture. So we have to stop at that point when you're just starting close out on the textures in this image. So just come and left click right here on the radius and start moving this radius slider. So just move it up to a point when you're just starting close out on the details so just move it as you're looking right here and at the image so don't take it all the way up because we just want to eliminate the textures and stop at that point when we're just starting to close out completely on the textures in the image so it's going to take it up so at around six that is where i'm just starting to close out on the details so usually your images or this radius is going to be different from one image to another so you shouldn't cram this radius so depending on the amount of details that you have in your image just work with that radius and you apply your radius may be different because your image may be having a different level of sharpness or different level of skin texture or details in the photo so i'm just going to come and i hit ok and my action is going to continue playing so the details that we lost out on this step are going to be the details we are going to be remaining with in the final image. I know this is a little bit confusing, but that is the way it works. So usually in my frequency separation action, you can see that I have a black and white layer. So I'm just going to delete this so that even people out there who don't have this in their frequency separation can easily follow along. So this is okay. So usually what I do when it comes to retouching, I turn off the high frequency layer so I can see the colors quite well. And after doing that, I come and I select the low frequency layer and simply come to the brushes, right click and get my mixer brush tool. And for the settings, I come and make sure I get it to be a clean brush. And I select the second option which says clean the brush after each and every stroke. By the way, the hardness is at 0%, meaning it is a soft brush. So the weight is 9%, load 75, mix at 90, and the flow 100. Make sure sample orders is not ticked or checked. And now just come and 
select your lock shipping layer and slightly zoom in. Don't zoom all the way in. Just make sure you retract at a distance and this looks great. So how this works, you can either increase on the size of your mixer brush tool by using the open and close brackets on the keyboard. So just going to start painting colors that look alike in the image. So left click and hold down and just start painting just like that. So you have to be painting when the low frequency layer is selected. And make sure sample oleas is not checked because when you sample oleas, it means it's also going to be painting textures in the low frequency layer and you only want to work with the color. So make sure this option doesn't have a check mark or a tick right here. So paint colors and you have to move your mixer brush tool in the direction. You can see this area, the tones are moving from up to down. So you have to take it in that direction just like that and follow the shape of the face or the area you're trying to retouch just follow the way the tones are flowing so you're basically trying to mix colors that are looking alike in this photo so you have to reduce on the size of your mixer brush tool and you edit or paint through a smaller area if at all you just want to work on that small area so let me just come and paint through quickly and i show you the results so and i say this is going to be a three minute tutorial but i think we are slightly still in that mark so i'm just going to paint right there and show you so just come back and turn on the high frequency layer and just look at the before and after that's the before, after, before, after. Let me just zoom in slightly. And you look at the image, all the, de the details or textures. So just look at it before. After the textures are still intact within the image. And if at all you wish, you can come and add your Gaussian blur method. If at all that is what you use to retouch. So this is all for this tutorial. And if at all you have loved this, don't forget to like this video. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If at all you have been watching and you don't subscribe to this channel. Ronis from Ronis Photography. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials. Don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.